Let's dare, my friends. Welcome to Stellaris Under. Oh, Grand Admiral campaign with 25 crises. And you can see the part of the 25 crises here with a contingency fleet. At the spawning point, mustering <laughs> 18 million. Yeah, that's not all. No, no, that's not all. Of course, that's not all. There's another 18 million here. Also, the, these Bavir Corsairs are doing some trouble or something like that. So, essentially, we have four times the contingency with, with a total of four times 18 million, which is about um, 72 million fleet strength. That is up against our... I don't know. If we're lucky, we're getting two million, <laughs> maybe three or four in the in the whole federation together. So we can only be thankful that we are close to that and we have a couple of very quick fleets and we will concentrate even more on getting quick fleets done because that's our only chance to maybe destroy the progress of the contingency once it starts progressing will be pretty rough. So here we go. Mm. I don't know, I mean we're at very high naval capacity already. Might get more and then we'll see. Ah. <laughs> Let us see. Let us see what we can do. Um, we love to build ring worlds too. So let's let's check in again. Scientific progress attained. Oh yeah. Flash coolant, energy weapon attack speed plus 5%. Uh what could be next? What would be next? Energy weapon damage has no bonus. We're going after the bonus we get. Get and shield hit points. That gets a bonus apparently. So let's go after shield harmonics. 25% bonus is no joke. My friends, it's great. What's going on here? Mm, yeah, we can upgrade the defense platforms, but really, the, why would we? The defense platforms aren't relevant for a win against the contingency. I mean, we could anyways build some more defense platforms. Why not? We've got it. Let's build it. Also, let's build more iron cannons and some defense platforms and then we can upgrade everything so we put this to use um whoop. Uh, wait defense platforms and here we go pay your station it's the same we can complete this with upgrading and then that bastion here We're definitely getting there. There's a mega shipyard. There's a trade hub station here. That we could upgrade later on. That's pretty pretty okay. All in all, I mean, we, we have good stations against like random invasions of things. And what we should also do... Mm, I think we've designed the, the red girl pretty okay yeah we have this strike craft we have this raptors it's fine we should get these things just like everywhere where we don't have a station to stop the pirates at least because they can be pretty unnerving so <laughs> look at that what we just got a station here with nothing else and we can build 15 defense platforms on this thing really how well let's anyway let's build 15 defense platforms on this thing in the lost mines yeah i mean it it could be it could be a good idea step by step my friends the gate station also needs a couple of these defense platforms 
Bam. Rivalry ended. Yeah, the honeybee unit ended the rivalry with the Antomaton Swarm. Why did they do that? Oh, look at that. The end of the Bavia Corsairs. Forces from the Contingency have destroyed the last of the massive space stations that house the majority of the population. Refugees from their surviving civilian population have scattered across the galaxy. Although some ba Bavia pirate and mercenary fleets may still be unaccounted for, the loss of their space dwellings is a devastating blow that they cannot recover from. This puts a definitive end to their raiding. Yeah, I would imagine so. And who can dare to stop the contingency? No one, absolutely no one. At the moment we are absolutely helpless. Everyone, the fallen empires, the Antomaton swarm, just about everyone. And look, they are coming. They're coming at us. We have to look quickly if we can have some move there. I don't know. Mm, how strong is a station like this? 600k is a station of that thing. Which means we need to have four fleets alone for one of their freaking stations. And we need to have quick forces. And we've already seen that our forces are like any fleet of us is at least double of the quickness of this stuff so we just have to fly over i mean without gray because gray is is pretty damn slow and be a little bit careful and then try to stop them can we get there somehow mm, we can we can i mean we could try fly here but that's there's 8 million fleets. I don't know. Can we get here? Mm, I don't know. We have to get to this... To this station somehow. Then fly away if we can. There's that 10 million fleet here. So the invasion fleets have 4 million. And they are flying together it seems. So we have 8 million power that we have to be up against. There's a subunit here, trying to build something, and this is definitely what we should kind of get. And then go away, and maybe we can kind of jump there, I don't know. Let's see if we can... Do we have the jump? No, we don't have the jump! Ha! Ah, it's so terrible. Where would we get to? Maybe here? No, that's... That's not good. We could get to Beskal. And it would take absolutely forever. I don't I don't know how. Well, we could do something differently. 300 days. 162 days. And here. 258 days. And we could try to get back there. We have to. Let's fly. Ride with the wind, my friends. Ride with the wind. The end of the Albanian remnant. What the fall of this once greater empire will mean for galactic politics remains to be seen. Boom. Everybody falls. Everybody falls down here. There's a gateway. Coming. We've started a couple of sections, but I believe we cannot, yeah, we cannot at the moment start something. So that's fine. We also don't have the influence to start something there. We could start habitats. Oh, look. We're here. We should probably wait here. I'm not sure. The speed forces are already there. 
in Anjitna. Let's collect the forces and then we'll see if we can beat something. Someone here in Debox. They're pretty quick in their disinfectant moves. So that's the contingency here. How's the other contingencies? Where are they? There's a contingency here that is doing its worst. There's a contingency here that is just disinfecting. There's a contingency here that doesn't seem to do a thing for some strange reason. I don't know. Have the elven stopped them? Unlikely. I don't know. Here, how many of our fleets? There's all of our fleets here. Let's move to Mikto's Vortex together. Everyone's flying back and forth. Where are they our moving to? Has progressed. Where's this thing moving to? It has unknown orders. Convun leveled up and we have defense platform hull points. Very nice. Very sweet. Um, no bonus on the armor. No bonus on the minerals. But maybe strike craft bonus. No. So explosive. We're not interested in, in the explosive weaponry, even though that would be maybe something okay. Um, minerals from jobs it is then. Striving forward. Now what's this thing doing? Where is it flying to? It's flying over here. What, 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 wait! Oh, just great! They have invaded... Oh, goodness, they have to... They have invaded the terminal egress station! In the L-gate! Ah! Four million fleet power! Yeah, friends, it's over. Um, let's fly. Let's fly away with a with a ship here. Mm. Where's the L gate? There's the L gate here, somewhere here. Right. Oh goodness me. I think the L gate is here, wasn't it? Move here, will you? Sterilizer, goodness, goodness, it even as an engineer. <laughs> Association status for the people. Can we initiate something here? Mm, an emergency measure. I'd like to do some emergency measure. Uh, but what? Sign in, boy. Resolutions. Defense and war. What could we go for? Rules of war. Reference for life. Mutual defense. The enemy of my enemy. The counterattack. The ready shield. Galactic priorities, focus, the contingency. No, we have weak support for that? Are you kidding me? <sighs> the L cluster will fall, the nanites as well. We only have gray. And these guys, are they moving? They're moving toward the system of Dibux. They will attack us, probably. Mm. 
Debugs has built something. And these guys are moving to Debugs. Planetary worksite established. That's the autonomous cluster. And weirdly, they're flying away. Where are they going? Oh, they, they've been attacked by task, task Force Miasma. That will be eliminated in a manner of seconds. We have a habitat complete here. Very nice. Mm. Comrade habitat. So will this be the end? It might as well be. It might as well be the end. They're flying towards the L gate. Now they're flying back. Ah, they even gained the trickster thing. Now let's have a look here. Is someone flying over to D books? Or are they just waiting here? No, Ships they're definitely upgrade. flying over. Station under assault. Yeah. Starbase lost. Bam. <laughs> it's done. It's gone. It's gone away. There we go, my friends. Why is there a, a weak priority for that? A weak support for focusing on the contingency. I don't understand something like this. Weak support. Mm. We'll add it to the proposal queue. We have to have to go for that. <laughs> Let's try. Let's try that and um Where is it now? The Evaxian Nation. Then something. Ascension Habitat is ready for colonization. That's good. Let's see about the trade hub in the Ascension system. Yeah, it's nice and all. There's something going on here. Ascensioning. There's something we could, yeah, let's just send someone over, right? Here we go. Um, trade district, research districts, nice. Um, here we go. Where could we send that thing now? Mm. I actually completely don't know. I mean, we could have... Oh, we could we could build something here. The habitats are so cheap now. It's nice to have them as a support. This thing will move over to debugs. And will it Ships stop there upgraded. or will it move on? Starbase fleet is completely Upgraded, yeah, I know, I know. Rivalries are ending currently. Now, where's that fleet going? The L gate, my friends. The L gate. Where is. There would be an invasion force here. We would lose just about everything. From the control of the L gate. Terminal egress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see. So they are flying now to the L gate and they are flying towards us probably. And that will be the end then. <laughs> <laughs> Judging from what they do. 
So, uh, why are you flying over here, Soviet Blitz Force? I don't understand. And what are they doing here? They are moving to Chura 6? No, to safe. Upgraded. Where is safe? Safe is here. Are they safe? I'm really not sure what they want to do. City Matters Peacekeepers have a nice force there. But nowhere enough. Our research has progressed. Good, good. Transgenic crops. Yeah, it's not that much about crops at the moment, right? But what can you do? Uh, armies? I don't know. Administrative capacity seems to be good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't think it's good enough. Would help us is leader lifespan? Maybe, yeah. Leader lifespan is not bad. That thing would also be good. Edict duration, kind of okay. Army health. No, why not? Let's go for some army health. Ships upgraded. Good stuff. No, let's see where they are going. A synth infiltration attempt at Alloy Dryas's R Prime. Presumably depath dispatched by the contingency. Now that we know what to look for, any future attempts by the contingency to use synth infiltrators against us will prove futile. They cannot hide from us. Great! Construction vessel under attack. What? Where? Why? Where is the construction vessel under it? Well, I told you. <laughs> We've just lost our mineral income. Boom. That's how we disappear. This is it. The contingency is just a little bit too much, it seems, and we are very unlucky that we have an L-gate here that is also activated. Very, very bad. So now, um, after losing <laughs> most of our mineral income, you know what? Let's remove that selling of minerals. There's the contingency. Are they moving anywhere? You need to know. They're not, not really moving. Okay. So that means we're going to fly over here to Asanitz. Asanzitz. Asan whatever. And try to attack whatever they're building here. Because that's the only thing we can really do. We cannot confront them at the moment. It's absolutely impossible. Ships upgraded. Where are they flying to now? They're flying to peak of power. Getting our next system down. Yeah, they're among us, my friends. It's getting over. Oh, look, the Havel conservers are doing something here. That will be interesting. They're launching a direct attack on them. Our research has progressed. Um, we need some more resources somewhere. I don't know. Let's buy some of this. Shield harmonics, shield hit points. Yeah, that's nice. Uh, weapons damage, not really. That, not so much. Shield, more shield hit points. Yeah, then let's go for the shield hit points. They are cheapest. Oh, my friends, this is... This is the end. Is this the end of socialism 
in space. Is this the end of everything? More like. Ships upgraded. Peak of power will be Discourse dismantled. In progress. Flee, my friends! Can you jump? Jump over to that gate. Disappear. What is here? A mega structure, a mega shipyard. Our oh, mega shipyard. Oh, that's great. So we're not going to get new ships in the future. At least not many. See, they're flying over somewhere here. We will collect here. And then we'll see what we can do, right? Peak of power is going down in a whim. Station under assault. Ships upgraded. Boom. Just like that. <laughs> oh well. Oh well. We never said we would survive this. We just hoped we would be a little bit luckier. Hmm. They will destroy just about everything. Let's see what they do. They, of course, want to control the mega shipyard. And they are flying back to the singularity, it seems. As long as we have the shipyard active, we might be able to do something. Now let's see if there's something moving. They are moving to Menkar. So they are going for something new. The Havel Conservers have somehow killed things here. There's something moving back here. And we might have the time to disinfect the debugs. Let's get all ships together. Ships upgraded. The mindset of the master. We love the master's teachings. Let's have them again. How is it? Is anyone supporting? Ah, uh, to to control. Focus, the contingency. Yeah, I think almost everyone's supporting that. Can we go for an emergency measure? Because that's what we need to do right now. Let's see if we can do that. Let's also look at these guys. They're attacking the core. Is something coming to attack us? This thing will fly over to, to Debux. Well, that's good for us. We have the autonomous cluster here in the peak Discourse of power habitat, in progress. seeking for things to kill. We've just lost 800 of our trade. Ah! <laughs> ah! Yeah, it's a little. Mm. It's a little interesting. What's going on here? Can they Ships kill that stuff quickly? Not really, right? It's It has no military power. But it has... 
<coughs> I'm sorry, what what kinds of it does ten thousand damage and it has one hundred and it has one point five million armor. Seven hundred and seventy thousand hull points. Also, 1.5 million shields, and it looks like they're barely making a dent with their 200,000 fleet. Um, I think we should help. We should try to help here. Maybe we can do that. Attack. Look at that, it's it's really not that quick. It's not doing so great. Enemy station engaged. What are they doing here? Peak of power. Yeah, they're doing nothing, they're just staying here. Being absolutely super annoying. Uh, let's look at fleet combat, defense force, yeah, everyone is attacking here. Now it's getting down slightly. Ships upgraded. Great, so we got that. It's time to... Uh, maybe we can catch that thing here. But we have to be watchful as they might be coming to get us and they're flying somewhere I don't know where where's this thing flying to they're flying back the builder is down it's done and out there's that fleet that is undoubtedly coming and our fleet should be back at Asanis quickly hopefully yeah, and there's this thing here blocking our trade from everywhere mm. Eighty-five, fifty-six influence. Ah, ah, I hate it. Can we move there? Oh, we can move in here. But they, they might move back. That's the problem. Uh, they, they are bombarding Peak of Power Prime. Ugh. Yeah, they're starting to destroy everything there now. Well, that will take a while, but still, it's absolutely terrifying. Mm. Well, we've got 17k. We've got some ring worlds. Could be ready here. Can start other ring worlds. <laughs> Not that it matters too much, but... Ships upgraded. So everything has been disinfected from them for now. How is it going up there? Oh, it's going absolutely terrifying. Here, not that bad. So that, that, that is too close to home. Let's see, we have one contingency, two contingencies. We have four, right? That's the third contingency. Ugh. They're coming over, they're having a party in our empire. They're having an absolute blast. They will destroy everything.
<coughs> so what can we do? Mm, we have to move to another place where the contingency would be. Mm. Like maybe we can help here somewhere. Because we have to, there's nothing else to do except that. One, two, three, four. Interestingly, here there's not much. Mm. Yeah, now they're coming with, with their armies. Look at this. Uh, transport ships. Yeah, they've got they've got regular armies. What? Can we kind of do something against them now? Like hire some armies? I mean, we have good Furbanite armies. They will hold for a while, maybe. Let's see. Let's recruit. Uh, we can recruit the defense armies. All right. All right. Uh. But what to do then? What to do? Is anything going up against our friends especially maybe not here maybe here against i don't know the caravan the right course compass contingency here the contingency here mm. there's something we could reach here maybe quickly if we have access to the conglomerate of rock <laughs> We could travel to the Maelstrom. There's an autonomous cluster here. There might be a cluster here because we cannot see anything. Something is moving around. Beta aliens. I don't like the beta aliens. Where could we move to? Mm, to here, to Ophelia. Yeah, let's move to Ophelia. Maybe we can reach it there. I mean, I don't know what else we could do. Sanitizing everything. Oh, look, the elven. Boom. Just boom. Hey, Shroud! You were never meant to be here. Yeah, reach into the Shroud. In one of the lower planes of the Shroud, we encounter a spirit that has ensconced itself behind some kind of powerful sonic shield. Yeah, we wouldn't attempt to penetrate the shield because we're looking for everything. We did not venture this deep into the Shroud only to be turned back now. After channeling all of their sonic might, our telepaths were able to form a breach in the shield large enough for some of them, them to peer through. We do not know what those telepaths saw on the other side of the shield, but it was enough to permanently unhinge their minds. Their sacrifice was not in vain, however, as the act of breaching the shield taught us how to generate a similar force field. The technique can be refined. We may be able to form sonic shields large enough to encompass entire starships. Exit the shroud. And we've gained a research option. Great. Maybe that will help us something. I mean, I don't think so because they like ships upgraded. They like us a little bit too much at the moment, but you never know. Our research has progressed. Nerve dampeners. Army health is going up. 
And ah, we have the psionic shields here now. Let's see. They are better. So let's research them at once. Maybe we can upgrade a bit. Let's see. We're going here. Maybe we can control the Bivarous Maelstrom. There's a science nexus there. Ships upgraded. Admiral gains trade. Katya Petrenko. It's now a scout or something like that. Oh, goodness. Mm. Oh, yeah. Let's go into all kinds of directions. Why not? Hey, you. Jump. <laughs> Jump away. <laughs> yeah, why not? Why not go for the next one? Good night. Boom. The march of progress has been delayed, but not stopped. Ships upgraded. They're in our midst. We are the main targets of the contingency. I mean, understandably. We, are the, we were the most powerful our empire. Has progressed. Extraction patterns, minerals from jobs going up. And now... Strike craft. Yeah, let's go for the strike craft attack speed. We don't know if it still matters or not, but we'll see. We'll see. Something going on here. Yeah, let's wait for our ships. Maybe we can attack the contingency someday, somewhere, somehow. There's Gray. Gray needs to be saved. What's going on Ships here? The upgrade. Democratic Republic of Slyon is trying to build something there. The scumbags. The freaking scumbags. How about in the Red Star system? We do something. Ah, oh, cannot. Cannot really reach anything. Mm, maybe it's not important anymore. We'll see if we can do anything to save this. It. I mean, at the moment I kind of doubt it, but we will not give up for now. So fleets, we need all of our fleets here, then go to the contingency and eliminate this thing. What, there's eight... Ships upgraded. Attacking with 6k or what? Oh. There are still refugees fleeing from the swarm. Let's see how everything is moving. Pretty terribly, I'd guess. I mean, it progresses kind of. Ships upgraded. It's progressing terribly. People are fleeing. Our empire is dwindling. Hmm. Let's go to a remote uh, edge of space, maybe. I want that to be evasive now, please. And maybe build a ring world out there or something like that or or a habitat or something something weird to to save us together we will build a brighter future psionic shields and we have a lot going on here let's see what we can buy maybe some exotic gases here we go psionic shields these extremely powerful shields are generated out of pure pure psychic energy by a carter Psionic specialists. Their powers are further augmented by large arrays of psi emitters. And now... What edit durations? No. Leader lifespan? Yeah, because biology. Army damage? Here we go. Ships upgraded. Consumer goods. We don't need to sell these many consumer goods anymore. Here we go. Starbase fleet fully upgraded. Yeah, I know, I know. Look, 
the Alban socialists. Everyone wants to build now. Everyone wants to get the decompressor. Yeah. They're taking our empire apart. We can try and cry. What is going on in the maelstrom here? Are they even making a dent in this? Ships upgraded. The new mystic order. Drink from the new mystic well of wealth and thirst no more. Show us your wares. A special offer. Would like to welcome some of your kind into her ranks. In return, these priceless crystals could be yours. 200 rare crystals. Yeah, I mean... They are maybe happy to get going. <laughs> How is it in Ibaka? Yeah, there's the big cluster. We could maybe, I don't know, here? Is that a thing? Oh, look, they're, they're coming. They're coming. So it's not that bad. Let's see if we can get something back here. What's going on here? They're disinfecting again. There's more contingency here. That's doing not much at the moment. Uh, really, it's it's a little bit exhausting, I'm not going to lie. To monitor always everything at once. Uh, no, we cannot go there. It would be suicidal. It would be bad. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The joke fleets of the other empires are here. Vlor needs to save us. Or a placid Leviathan. I, I don't know. I don't know. Come on, Vlor. Now is your time. Please save us. Awaken, Vlor. <sighs> it's too late. Everything's too late. We're all gonna die. Mm. But really, what to do right now? I'm not sure. Could we just try to attack one of these stations? And get rid of it, just like that? The sterilization hub, for example? This thing? That core? If we destroyed one of these AI cores, would it go down and then... We would be relieved? Could, would, should that be a solution? I mean, they're doing their thing here now. And I think we need to go back. Somewhere, maybe here to the home of the scavenger. Waiting. Waiting to do something. Scientific to claim these things attained. back. Shield harmonics. Shield hit points going up. Mm, again? Again. Again, the best choice stays the best choice. Ships upgraded. Starbase is going up and we could change the designs. Hey, not, not that I think that we will get the chance to build more ships, but we could do it. The hyper shields, 145 for the small shields and these are 240. Really? And they're also cheaper, but they need throw. Well, we have, we've got throw. Mm. On the other hand, they need some power, right? How much power do they need? 75, and these need 45. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a bit of a problem, I see it. So we cannot exchange these shields. But let's see here. We could have less shields that are may maybe better. And some crystal infused plating. 
like to round it up or something in the peacemakers mm. now we've got the red warrior Forty-five, yeah. Let's just modify the designs. Spirit of Socialism also needs some things. Get improved. Mm, Soviet siege. going into that direction for the new ships and here as well let's get rid of the ships let's see how many of the psionic shields we can support with this maybe one more hyper shield no nope. Get two platings and some Neutronium armor. Siege Titan. Repair guy. Maybe another Hyper Shield. Yeah, that's better. Let's have it going like this. Hmm, Soviet CGT. The speed Titan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. How much? Nope. Just gonna see, just gonna see the red girl. Yeah, that will be modified too by the sonic shields. Let's see. 71. I know, I know, I know. 75 it is. We'll have one of. Mm. Apparently. So we'll have that distribution now. The iron cannon. And the juggernaut. And the juggernaut. Now let's just have more neutronium armor from this. And now our starbase capacity is going down. Hmm, no, not the capacity. It's actually the starbases that are going down. How nice. Everyone's moving around here. Oh well. Is it the end of the galaxy? Ships upgraded. Oh no! Our general has died. Oh, Chandrash! Recruit another one. I don't know. J Tok Deer. They, they, that guy is pretty good. Let's take An Wen.
Here we go. He's better than no one. And he's cost effective. Is there any way to stop them? <laughs> <coughs> Not at all at the moment. There's just no way. Uh, we just have like guerrilla tactics, that's all. And even that is mm, unlikely. Let's see, if, if they would have given us another 10 years, then we would have something. We would have a fleet that could, um, or a combination of fleets that could take down one of their fleets, but not that way. It's just impossible, I think. Mm. Let's see, let's go to Lenin's Red Star then. I don't know, Ships maybe upgraded. they will not do that. <sighs> oh, look, we have the Democratic Republic of Slyon here. How nice you did that. Taking our formal lands. Great stuff. Ships upgraded. Fleets are there. Our ships have arrived. Saving the scientists. Things bombarding. Ships upgraded. Will to power. Here we got it. Nanite actuators. Here we got it. Hmm. I mean, can we build a, a habitat here? Yeah, we can. Just sending some ships over. To create kind of a new future in the remote spaces of something like Krant. What would we need there remotely? You have that nanite world? No, no, no. Mm, not here. Walk on. Uh, that's also a little bit close. Mavali, maybe? Let's try to get someone going on Mavali. I kind of build around the star. I understand. I understand. Maybe here. Isn't that a good good way to build? Good position to build this something in. I'm gonna build the lost mines here. Ships upgraded. Starbase fleets getting ready. Together we will build a brighter future. Heat recyclers. Strike craft attack speed. Yeah, hope dies last. Defense platform hull points. How few things that mean. What's Ships going on here? Upgraded. Nothing is coming of this. Galactic community. Uh. Oh, resolutions. How is it going with a... Yeah, we still have weak support for this. Uh. 
focus the contingency. Everyone's against it. Abstaining the Evaxian uh, nations. <laughs> Senate is in session. Come on. Oh. oh well, oh well. I'd say thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Manuel Khan signing out. See you soon and happy gaming. Um, I don't know how this will continue or if. <laughs> we'll see if the galaxy will do anything to stop them. See you soon. Have a great time. Until next time, Manuel Khan, signing out.